Hey everyone, my name is Laura Cook with Keller Williams and this is my good friend Scott from Loan Depot. He is a loan officer. Now tell me Scott, how long have you been working as a loan officer? Yeah, I've been in the business now for seven years. Okay, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. We've seen a lot together. Yes, we have. And I have to say, Scott is a fantastic loan professional. You You're are not too bad yourself. So. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, first things first, I work with a lot of first time home buyers. They want to know what's the first thing they should do when they're thinking about this process. I would say the first thing to do is really just to get a better understanding of their financial picture. Mm -hmm. So understanding what their budget is, how much do they have for a down payment? How mm -hmm. much is it going to cost for a closing cost? Mm -hmm. How much are they going to need for reserves? Meaning right. how much money do they need in the bank after closing? Mm -hmm. That would be the first step in getting a better understanding of that. And you can get, you know, speaking to a mortgage professional mm -hmm. and asking these questions and having someone guide you will get you there. Yeah, absolutely. And step two, I would say having your credit run. Mm -hmm. The sooner that you can have your credit run, the better. Just, just to get an understanding as to what your score is. Mm -hmm. And if there's anything funky going on in your credit report, it's better to know sooner rather than later. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of people ask me, is it really necessary to get that pre-approval as you're getting started? What do you think? Absolutely. I would say, why not? It doesn't cost you anything mm -hmm. to get a pre-approval. Right. And the process is fairly simple. It's a 10 to 15 minute conversation with a mortgage professional where we'll ask questions about your income, your employment, your assets, any debt you have, mm -hmm. and what your plans are for the property. Is it gonna be your primary home? Is it gonna be a second home? Is it gonna be an investment property? Mm -hmm. Once we gain a better sense as far as what they're looking for and what they currently have, we can put together a pre-approval letter. Now, them. does that expire? The credit report will be valid for 120 days. So once okay. that expires, the pre-approval letter itself will also expire. Okay. And then to update it, it won't cost you anything. We'll just need to rerun the credit report and that'll buy you another 120 days. Okay, that's helpful to know, great. So tell me a little bit about what's going on with interest rates. I know the Fed just increased them. Is that affecting mortgage rates right now? They did and they will. So we've been living in this historically low interest rate environment now for nine years. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, the economy has grown and it continues to grow and now it's growing quite rapidly. Right. So to curb that growth and to slow down to, to, to slow things down a little bit, the Fed has decided to raise rates, which is a good thing. Okay. But in the long term, you will see mortgage rates start to rise. In the short term, because the stock market has also been relying on a low interest rate environment. The stock market's taking a little bit of a hit since the announcement mm -hmm. and mortgage rates are actually coming down. So in the short term, it's actually been a good thing for mortgage rates. Interesting. So somebody could take advantage of that at this point. They absolutely can. That's great. That's good to know. So before we finish up our video here, tell me, what's one thing you would like people to take away from our conversation today? I would say it's never too early to start. It's never too early to engage a real estate broker or mortgage professional to mm -hmm. get a better understanding as to what it takes to, to buy a home yeah. and, to, and, and to go through this process. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time and answering all these great questions. And of course, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask Scott or myself, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to help any way we can. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Thank you.